hello and welcome to the channel. This is Rachelle at Simply Honest Living and I've got a bit of a mashup video for you today. We're going to start off with the grocery haul and weekly meal plan, followed by a bit of kitchen decluttering and some cleaning motivation filmed over the course of the week. So I do hope you stick around to the very end. Now let's see what's on tap for family dinners. Starting off with some beef empanadas made super easy by using canned biscuits, followed by creamy chicken nachos. On Wednesday, we're going to be serving up some corned beef and cabbage from the crock pot. And finally, we're going to end the week with a bit of Asian flair with teriyaki beef and some veg and pot stickers. Now, normally I would have a meatless meal for you for Friday's dinner, but that has now changed to Friday night lights and dinner out after Collins football games. As per usual, recipes for this menu will follow in the next Meals of the Week video, so stay tuned for that on Monday. Now onto the grocery haul to see what I picked up for this week and then a bit of kitchen cleaning. Hello and welcome to the grocery haul. I went to Aldi this morning. This is pretty much um, everything I needed for the week. I think there may be one or two items that I was missing that they didn't have at the store. Uh, but just jumping in here, we have some salmon. I bought this, I normally don't buy salmon because it's really expensive, but there was $5 off. Um, so that made it about $10, $11 for this big thing of salmon. We have some onions because we're running out. I bought more applewood smoked boat bacon because it's a really good bacon and we go through it quite quickly. Um, we have some 80-20 ground beef for the beef empanadas I'm going to make tonight. We have um, some bell peppers. We've got some strawberries. We have some eggs. One is missing because I just made Colin's breakfast as well as a packet of uh, English muffin. Again, one is missing for um, for because I made Colin's breakfast this morning. Um, and then we've got some diced tomatoes. We have black beans, we have cream of chicken. We have some uh, more of this medium fresh, quote unquote, fresh salsa. Uh, this is for chicken quesadillas. He's still really liking the chicken quesadillas. So I'm gonna make those for lunch for him um, today at least. We've got some sour cream. I'm making uh, some creamy chicken nachos tomorrow. So we're gonna try these home style chips. I haven't tried those before, so hopefully they'll be good. We have a sweet kale salad here, uh, a bag of carrots for the dog snacks. Um, and then underneath here, we've got a little impulsy kind of buy. Actually, didn't even check to see how much this was. It's a door insulator because, and it's got like holiday theme, but I figured I can turn it around, just use the gray. Uh, our front door has a bit of a gap between the door and the floor. Did miss this guy right here in the middle, some sourdough bread because we're out of that. Um, this was, oh, did I get the cheese? The cheese, extra sharp cheddar. The total for today was $59.35. Again, there were a couple little things that I missed from Aldi that they didn't have, so I'll probably fill in later this week. I may include it in this video. Uh, if not, this is the grocery haul for the week. Hi, welcome to this segment of the video. Thanks for sticking around after the grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, just for your reference, all of the recipes that I posted in the weekly meal plan will follow uh, in the next Meals of the Week video. I seem distracted. It's because Miss Capri is down here on the ground. There she is. <laughs> but yeah, so this section is going to be a combo of a kitchen declutter slash organization slash deep clean spring clean. It depends how much I can get through today. That is basically my plan. I've been bit by the spring cleaning bug as probably most of you maybe <laughs> all have been with the weather warming up and just everything just feeling fresh and new and you just want to refresh your home. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm starting with the kitchen because it's a space that I am in the majority of the time <laughs> when I'm not sleeping or something like that. But for the most part, the kitchen is the space that needs to be really functional for me. And uh, truth be told, it is... Hold that thought. <laughs> truth be told, it does need some decluttering, but it's not as bad as it could potentially have been. Uh, when we first moved in, we uh, moved in about a year ago, a little over a year ago now, I did a brutal 
decluttering because we have been downsizing since Colin was one. He's 16 now. Um, so over the course of that time, we went from 4,200 square feet down to 2,000 square feet, and now we're down to about 1,200 square feet. So <laughs> we've basically cut the square footage in half uh, and the storage went along with that. So I have needed to be really intentional about what I keep in the kitchen. So with that long drawn out intro, um, let's get into the decluttering. I am going to start with the cabinets and then kind of work my way down. The area that I'm most concerned about is under the sink and there is no space down there and it's just a jumbled mess. So I'm gonna start with the cabinets. They're not so bad, but there are sections that I haven't really looked at since we moved in and I've just sort of accumulated and added more things. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the kitchen decluttering. Here is my little kitchen that I spend most of my waking hours in. Uh, it's the perfect size for us really. There's just the three of us and um, it is shared with a laundry area, so this area I will be decluttering as well. The other thing about this space is that it does not have a pantry, so we are limited to these cabinets that you see, the upper cabinets and the lower cabinets. Gotta get it all in there, and again, I share it with a laundry area, so the inside of the cabinets, I really gotta streamline and make sure I don't accumulate too much stuff. So to start out, I am going to just put everything away that has been drying in the sink. Um, the other thing is we don't have a dishwasher, so I have to hand wash everything. And because I'm not a huge fan of hand drying, there's something about a wet towel that I just, I don't really like. So I do just let things hang out in the sink to dry. Um, and I'm putting these away. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the upper cabinets today. This is a two-day process for me. I just, I don't have quite the energy that I used to when I was younger, but I'm just making excuses now. So into the cup cabinet we go. Um, we've got daily cups on the bottom, tumblers in the middle, and then sort of like low-use special cups up at the top. Uh, I'm a sentimental person, so I like to keep a few things just for nostalgia, but I'm going to spread everything out, see what I have, and then see what I can get rid of. Once I remove everything and the cabinet is clear, I'm going to spritz some of this all-purpose cleaner that I picked up from Grove Collaborative like a while ago, and I'm just going to dust. I'm going to do this to all the cabinets and shelves, uh, as much of the outside of the doors and handles and all of that as I can. Um, today, I didn't get around to doing as much spring cleaning, like deep cleaning as I wanted to over the two days, uh, but I did my best and I did definitely get the decluttering done and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It's just going to make the year a little bit better so that I have some space to spread out again. I had a really hard time deciding which mugs to keep. Uh, I just, like I said, I I'm nostalgic and every cup has a story. This one says Pug Mom. I have a lot of special cups and a lot of pug things because we are sort of pug pug collectors. <laughs> but I did manage to get rid of most of these pug mugs. Uh, Rob actually ended up taking a bunch of them to work to replace some of the sort of shared office stuff. This is a special one that's Bantasbrot. I got it from Germany from my friend's mom who sadly is no longer with us but I'm just sharing some of my special mugs. This one's from Oxford. I carried it all the way back <laughs> from England and Colin's old Lego mug. So those I decided to keep. Those are top shelf mugs.
here is the pile of giveaways. Again, Rob took a bunch of these mugs and then the other ones I did post on my Buy Nothing group so that all of my neighbors could have a chance at them. Bit of a coffee break here and then I'm gonna move on to the next cabinet. As I mentioned, a lot of these cabinets I get into every day, so they're in really good shape. But this one in the corner, a lot of the corner ones, I have uh, sort of tucked some things in there that I really needed to get rid of. So a bit of cleaning there. Uh, and then I'm just going to take a look and really assess what do I really, really need? What have I actually used and what have I not touched over the entire year? And then I'm gonna get rid of some of those. Over the years, we've switched from plastic storage food containers to glass, um, but they are a bit heavy, so I was storing them on the second shelf and decided I'm going to move them down to the bottom to see if that works better for me. So that is exactly what I did there, and now a bit of tidying of the cabinet doors and sides. This cabinet houses all of the condiments and herbs and spices that I use for cooking. Top shelf just reserved for some, you know, miscellaneous baking dishes. I had to use every single space, as I mentioned. We don't have a pantry. Cabinet space is super limited. But I'm going to pull everything out. And then I am going to consolidate some things because I noticed I have duplicates of certain seasonings and things like that. So I'm just going to take these out. I do a bit of cleaning as I do, and then I'm gonna sort through and see what I actually need. It amazes me how much stuff can actually fit in a cabinet and how much stuff you can, can accumulate over a length of time. This space, I actually did purchase a Lazy Susan and a couple bins just to make things a little bit easier to pull out and excess, especially the larger bottles. So here you see I am consolidating my soy sauce. I think that's the soy sauce <laughs> um, because I had two bottles. And then I'm going to just go through and just get rid of and discard some things that either like way past the best buy date. I usually don't have a problem keeping things a little bit longer past the best buy date. Uh, just, you know, a lot of the stuff is pres preservatives and, and things like that. So it's fine. If it tastes fine, if it doesn't smell funky, I will keep it. I consolidate some of the old, um, the dry spices and seasonings as well. That's the everything bagel seasoning from Aldi that Rob just loves. I love it too. It's so good. And then I am going to start putting a few things into the cabinet. I wanted to reserve the turntable for uh, things that I used uh, most often so that I didn't have to reach in it again on the second shelf and it just was really hard to like get back and I had to take all the bottles out and you know just to find the one that I wanted so I'm putting all the ones I use the most on that little turntable and then it ended up being that most of my Asian condiments and <laughs> things like that were on the left hand side so it worked out really well and uh, so I'm just going to do that to the second shelf. Oh my goodness, you guys, this container of Old Bay seasoning has a date of 2006. <laughs> so yeah, I tossed it so embarrassing I'm going through my dry spices now I basically have two clear bins you can't really see them that well because they're clear um, but 
two bins, one for most used savory spices, and then the other one I thought I would put like all my sweet spices like cinnamon, clove, um, you know, like nutmeg, that kind of thing, and then any other miscellaneous spices that um, happen to fit in there. So that's exactly what I do. I put the most used ones uh, right there to the far right so that I could access them real easy, and then in the front of that, obviously, it's going to be my garlic, my onion, uh, that kind of thing, and then on the left, I've got my cinnamon and uh, fun spices as well like the everything bagel seasoning so just finishing up putting the dry uh, dry herbs and spices and then that cabinet is pretty much done oh yeah I dropped my camera <laughs> here are little spice packets and things uh, these are all to give away here on the left I posted those to my buy nothing group I have things that I tossed because they were just way too old and then things I decided to keep I either put in extra glass seasoning like herb spice containers that I happen to keep and then uh, the other ones I forgot to show but um, I'll try to show it in another video at some point I basically tucked um, some of those seasoning envelope packets in a uh, file accordion thing that goes into the cabinet so uh, I will show you again in another video so apologies for that um, I'm going into some of the drawers now this one has a bunch of miscellaneous items and I was surprised such a small little drawer had some weird things like candle wax in it <laughs> and a marker so just gonna clean that out and uh, rearrange everything just a bit of dust here they do get opened every day so these are clear um, food trays that go with my new cutting board so uh, I just put that in there and then this basically is the one that has all of my tongs and spatulas and things so again these drawers are really pretty streamlined for the most part now on to like the snack cabinet again no pantry this is all we have uh, top shelf are really kind of like my low carb baking items second shelf is canned goods and sauces uh, and then the bottom is really just snacky things so we try to keep snacks to a minimum because I'll eat them if they're in the house uh, the white little bin there is Colin's snack bin and I have like my Mio's and my uh, noon tablets and those kinds of things on the bottom shelf these are giveaways. These went to the Buy Nothing group and I made a neighbor very happy. <laughs> Going into the cutlery drawer now, again, this is used every day, so very streamlined for the most part. But the thing I was most concerned about was the trays. I wanted to clean the trays out because I was surprised in just you know a short amount of time how much like dust and stuff can settle in and like little, I don't know, little bits of who knows what settled into the trays so clean those out and I'm just gonna put everything back in I did get rid of a few tiny things but for the most part the cutlery drawer stayed the same this is my absolute favorite knife I've had this since we got married it's lasted forever and I really only use one knife. All you need is one really good like knife sharpener and you're good to go and that thing will last forever. I've linked it below in case you're curious what it is. It's a Vostoff knife, super good quality, um, but yeah. Here's that sentimentality creeping in again. This is a wine stopper we got for our first anniversary that we have never used and it's, I've just carried it with us every single house move and it's probably just gonna stay that way but I'm gonna keep that and tuck it into the corner. Mm -hmm. 
this cabinet has some cake boards that I used to use when I used to bake a lot, especially when Colin was a lot younger, making all of his birthday cakes and such, but um, I don't do that a whole lot now, so I'm definitely going to declutter that. I don't know where all of this sediment <laughs> settled or came from. Probably that little um, that cut out at the top of the at the top of the cabinet. I, I don't know where that came from. I obviously would not have put things in there with that stuff in there. So I am just going to vacuum it out and then do my bit of dusting, and then I'm going to put everything back in that I'd like to keep. putting in some like miscellaneous party supplies like disposable kind of stuff and then I did decide to keep just the smaller cake boards uh, because those are pretty usable hopefully one of these days when the world opens up again we'll have bake sales and things like that so I don't know I was just being hopeful and keeping those boards and maybe I'll use them again soon And these are all for giveaway. So my decluttering mission for this first day, I think was quite successful. I did get rid of some things and now I'm gonna rest and get ready for day two. Good morning. Welcome to day two of uh, the kitchen declutter, uh, cleaning, whatever you wanna call it. So two things, let me just tell you really quickly. Uh, down here, under where the pots and pans are, and under here, where we have additional, just bigger snacks, my coffee and all that, and other uh, baking trays, I did not uh, reorg that. So I pretty much got all the upper cabinets except for the one above the refrigerator, so I'm gonna tackle that today. There are additional baking pans and things that I don't really, really grab for at all. Um, I think I've opened those cabinets, uh, that cabinet maybe once or twice this entire year. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to dust off the top of the fridge and then I'm going to tackle the laundry room today. <laughs> I call it the laundry room. It's not a room. It's like a laundry section. <laughs> it's a laundry. I'm going to tackle the laundry area right now. And then the other big one, as I mentioned yesterday, under here and under here. Yeah, this one is so I'm gonna do the lower cabinets today is basically what I'm saying. So let's get started. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide I'm absolutely in love with my pothos here. I've had this the last two places that we lived in, and there's just something about having green in your kitchen, in your home. Let me know down below, do you have lots of plants in your kitchen or throughout your home? There's just something about bringing the outdoors in that just makes me so happy. I'm not doing the super deep clean that I really wanted to do, but you can see how nasty and dusty it was on the top. I really wanted to pull my fridge out and do all the things, but instead I'm just taking this little microfiber duster and getting underneath the cabinet because I know there's stuff under there too. So. To heavy hearts is not a lie. I will put out all of the fire. In case you're worried about my death-defying climbing, I know you guys do it too, right? <laughs> I am wearing grippy socks, my grippy Pilates socks, so, and I really do like climbing on the counters. Is that weird? 
I'm a huge fan of scrambling when I go hiking. <laughs> I just love climbing things. <laughs> odd okay anyway moving on to more dusting trying to get in there really really odd angle but um you know in lieu of pulling the fridge out and getting on a ladder a proper ladder and getting in there properly i am just doing what i can to do a bit of dusting Here are those extra baking things. I've got some tins for some Filipino desserts and some holiday themed, you know, like heart shaped things. I decided in the end, you know, no, I don't use these that often. However, that cabinet space is not super accessible because I have things in front of it. Like I'd have to move the plant and the antique scale <laughs> out from in front of it if I wanted to get in there. So I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and keep all of these wonderful baking goodies. So I'm just putting those back in there uh, for another time. And consequently, the next day I did receive a request from the Buy Nothing group for anyone with an extra muffin tin. And I did go back in there and grabbed one. So I'm glad I was able to get that. Just passing the vacuum over real quick just to pick up, you know, anything that's fallen from the tops of the cabinets, the top of the fridge, little dust bunnies, those kinds of things. Uh, and then I'm going to carry on with more decluttering. This bottom corner cabinet actually turned out to be more of a nightmare than under the kitchen sink. It's just really, really difficult to get anything in and out of this space. You can see just things are stacked. It goes around the corner into the back there that you just really can't reach. Um, and it's so dusty and so dark um, and the opening is so small. It's just, it was, yeah, worse than the kitchen sink. So I'm just, you can see how small that opening is, pulling every single thing out, and I was totally amazed how much stuff I actually had shoved in there. I'm going to try my best to show you exactly what it looked like in here and film me cleaning, but it was just too small. Um, you can see all that dust that accumulated in the corner. I, to be honest, am not even sure that I was able to clean that properly when we first moved in. I, I don't... I don't know how all of that dust accumulated in there, but in any case, I'm getting in here as best I can, up close and personal, just doing my dusting. And uh, yeah, it was, it was tough, guys. I 
wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away I decided to give away mostly baking things. As I mentioned, I don't do that much decorative baking anymore. And I pulled my old cutting boards that you've seen in all my Meals of the Week videos since I did get a new cutting board. So I'm gonna give those away. And these are the things I'm going to keep in their proper bins now, uh, well categorized. Still really hard to get in and out of this cabinet, but they're closer to the opening to the front door and just gonna be a lot easier to pull things out when I need them. Okay, now is the moment I have been dreading. Under our kitchen sink. So, um, right, <laughs> where to start? Let me just move this so maybe you can kind of see what's going on under here. Uh, we've got the piping, right? We've got the, you know, trash disposal thing right there. And then on this side, we have this massive water heater tank. I don't know why they installed this under the sink, uh, uh, other than that they wanted just real quick access to the water, but it's really interesting, or maybe they didn't do the piping because our normal, regular, large water heater is right there in that little door cubby thing. So, Either they, like I said, they didn't want to do the piping required to bring the water to the kitchen sink, which is, I'm not really sure why they didn't have a, that done in the first place. But yeah, so this is basically taking up the entire end of the sink. So I can't even do like storage bins. I can't do anything. So let me remove this. Let me just show you. This obviously needs some desperate work. Oh, another pug mug. Oh, this is a tragedy. I accidentally stuck one of my favorite cups inside a mug and I thought I'd be able to take it out, but I can. So you can kind of have a better idea here. So you can't even really get a storage bin in here, really. There's like a tray under the water heater. It's, yeah, it's basically really, really quite unusable space. So I did put a little rod up at the top to try to, you know, I thought I could hang these bottles, you know, like I've seen on Pinterest and stuff, but it just got too heavy and the rod would fall. So as you saw or a little bit earlier, I'm just putting like rags and stuff on top of that right now, just, you know, for drying, but okay, let's clear this out, clean it up and see what we can do uh, to make this work a little bit better. I'm gonna keep a few of these cleaning supplies in our fly swatter. These things I am for the most part going to keep, but some will go to the laundry area cabinet, some will go in the bathroom, and uh, some things to be washed. And who else stores old cooking <laughs> oil and grease in jars? Anyway, that's just something I picked up from my mom growing up. So now I'm just gonna try to fit everything under here. Luckily all the method um, method spray bottles fit really perfectly in this little tray thing. I don't know if I can store things in there, but I just have and I touch the tank and it's not warm or hot or anything like that. So if you guys know, let me know down below, but for the most part, that's where I'm gonna keep everything. I pulled a little dish. I'm gonna store my little uh, magic erasers in there and I use that to scrub the sink. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It worked out really well. Kept the bare essentials down here and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now 
Now onto the laundry area. I have two upper cabinets. This is the one on the left. Yes, we store whiskey with our cleaning supplies. <laughs> all the laundry stuff and all the dog stuff here, just behind that bifold door, as you probably have seen in my other videos. This is the second upper cabinet. Uh, just, again, a jumbled kind of disorganized mess. Uh, really hard to know where everything is. So I'm just gonna pull everything out as you know, as I normally do. And I'm just gonna organize that a little bit better, get rid of the things I don't want. And uh, then we will be almost done with this decluttering process. My, look at this. I can't believe all of this fit in here. How is that possible? How? How did we store all that stuff in there? It's crazy. But now I'm just gonna go through it. Yes, we had a mix of like our little bar and then um, we're not big drinkers, but Rob really likes his uh, whiskey. Anyway, so we keep that up there. Laundry stuff, just random things, dogs, th dog things as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill this up and uh, you'll see in a bit what it looks like when we're all done. Here is the after. You can see still a lot of stuff, but way easier to see what we have in here. I put all the big sort of refillable stuff, um, you know, refills up at the top. We've got dog pads up there. Um, just a lot easier to find things in the upper cabinet. Uh, and then we are going to install this little gadget <laughs> that I picked up. I've, originally, I wanted to put it on the back wall, but because I'm so short, it's just, it, it was going to be too hard to reach it. So, feasibility and logistically this made a lot more sense to put on the sidewall. My idea was to make more space for the dog stuff. So I am just going to install that and we'll be on our way. We are in the home stretch guys. There you go, mission accomplished. It took me two days, but I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It is not perfect, but it is functional. And this is gonna work so much better for us. Things are a little bit more organized. We have recycled bags in here, you know, grocery bags that we can use and access more easily. We have a little bin on the corner there for mismatched socks uh, to pair up whilst doing laundry um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration to do a little decluttering in your home for spring cleaning and i'll see you in the next video thanks so much for stopping by